Titans taking on the Houston Texans. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. start this drive out on the ground and he takes us across the 15 to the 17 four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage second down well, this defense for the Titans they were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers and that's not the half of it they forced seven turnovers in that game and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one but seven that seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. Second down and six now. Stroud. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I know for us it's fun. And it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one. So the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protect. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Daniil Hunter in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Now back to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now, a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx it. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. 
Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there the last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Here we go, here second we go. and ten. Stroud looking to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and three. And now they'll shift things around. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And it's a Titans touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows to 10 0. So, an early 10 0 lead for him now as they kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The Texans sitting at five and two on the year. And they come in on a good run. Winners of five of their last seven. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. All on display in that victory. On second down, they'll run it here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 19 tight, 19 tight. 18, five here. On the ball, on the ball. Play action. Here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left of the quarter. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. 10-0 the score after one. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Dragon 60. Cut 19. Cut 19. Up. 
Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. A 39-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Second and nine. Looking to throw. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. Now they'll change things up. They'll look to throw here on first down. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Ten more there and another first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 35. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Back to throw again. Pollard here once again, back-to-back -back catches. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. That 
Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Drake London, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans go up by two touchdowns. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here we go, check! They'll start on the ground here on first down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. On second down, it's Stroud. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick. Ready. Fourth down, here's Stroud. And he is going to have a Texans first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions. But that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. Stroud now on first and ten. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, okay, but ready. the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. 60 Bobcat! 60 Bobcat! Warrior 17! Second and 10. Stroud to throw yet again here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! Stroud on third down now. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Amadi Hooker, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This defense, three interceptions now, and Charles, obviously, that one for the pick six. 
That gives them a three possession lead and they are really in the driver's seat. Makes you imagine what that lead could become with another half of football left to play because the way they're getting after it, partner, 30 points, 40 points, even 50 points, that type of a lead, not out of the question. And neither is another pick six. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Got it. Ready? The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Here's second and 10. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. Here's Stroud. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing now is Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And worth pointing out, after that last completion, that puts this young quarterback over 10,000 yards passing for his career. And fair to say, he's not done yet. No doubt about it. He's really just getting started because he's not quite into the prime of his career. So it's likely he's going to hit a few more of these milestones as this career progresses. So let's face it, we'll acknowledge this number and we'll celebrate the milestones down the road. Ready. Final play of the half, Stroud. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level. 
And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. St. Brown in motion right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And that is exactly what you needed defensively. It's a long road back from here, but that's a good start to the second half as they force a punting situation and a fourth down. This is brought in at the 21. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Again on second down, it's Stroud. This one left side caught by Collins. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Third down. On the Stroud working out of the gun. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Cut 19! Cut 19! Stroud to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. That one complete. It's tanked down. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Stroud looking to throw. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And my goodness, another interception. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And the Titans are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarter Now the ball comes loose. Oh, he shifts past him. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11.
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Titans! A big play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because of it. And now here is another interception. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Now a throw here to his running back. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. These two teams met in Nashville earlier in the year with the Titans coming away victorious. So a win here in Houston would give them the season sweep. Here's second and eight. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in their second half blowout material. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Touchdown! A 24-yard touchdown. And the Titans are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. 65 catch! 
60 Bobcat. Now Stroud. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jeffrey Simmons. Excellent job on that play. A big, big loss. 18 yards. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And my goodness, another interception. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. They'll come out throwing here on first down, eluding the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It's a gain of 34. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now back to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something. Be a little... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it, and the Texans are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. Ready, they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Stroud sets up the play action. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Then he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow them to convert a third and 18. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Play action. Here's Stroud. Looking left sideline. It's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. And now here is another interception. And the Titans are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. The Titans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. Out 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That was Will Anderson getting home and finishing the play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On now is the Titans punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Texans will take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Stroud looking to change the play. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. 19 Lions. Stroud on third down now. Jeffrey Simmons able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. 19 tight. 19 tight. Ready. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. And they take a knee. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And they will take a knee here. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Looking to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Play action. Stroud now. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 
So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether 